what's up guys welcome back to my channel once again I am so excited about this video today because we are going to be speaking about fashion yay guys I really really love fashion I love love speaking about fashion like I love to look at I love everything like I think I got into fashion before beauty skincare etc and today we're going to speak about finding your personal style and i know that there are some people that don't have personal style per se they just see what they like and they just wing it and there are some people that do look stylish doing that and there are some people that just aren't really you know cutting it and if you are one of those people that just wing it and look stylish on a daily basis please share in the comment section bar below how you do it because like there are so many clothes out there there are so many stores so many you know people that create outfits you know out there worldwide listen there's everything articles yay there's everything but personally i think that people should have personal style to make it easier for them right personal style does sift out consumerism and you know trends that come in year in and year out seasonally etc you feel like you need certain type of clothes when in fact you don't need them so what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to share with you my five tips of how to find your personal style stick to it and also declutter your your wardrobe to gravitate towards your personal style and what you in fact like i also know that there are so many people that say that um finding your personal style or getting into fashion or having interest in fashion needs a lot of money that is not necessarily true i am going to do a video on how to go about some tips and tricks um and how you can save some money so do look out for that video on my channel subscribe to my channel while you edit um, so that you can get those notifications for videos that are up and coming so tip number one is find what you like and gravitate towards it so what do I mean about that use Google as your friend go on to Pinterest look for pins and you know inspiration on Pinterest Instagram editorials etc and you know screen grab some things that you like pin some boards etc and then go back to your boards and go back to your um, screen grabs and look at the items that are a pattern then those are the items that you like right and then from then onwards once you find found that pattern look for words that best describe your style so for example I'm going to use myself in, as an example throughout this video for example I like you know classic minimal and casual wear right I like to put together my classics and my casual wear together in a minimalist sort of a style if you get what I mean um, I like structured clothing I like formal clothing at the same time I like my casual so I combine that and you know make sure that it has that sort of a minimalist sort of a touch I've always known what my personal style is um, I just had to define it to be stronger um, I, I think I did that in 2016 um, I just had to define it to be stronger and then I gravitate towards those words that I best describe what my style is like once you found the words that uh, describe best describe your personal style I say look for the top three or top four um, you don't have to stick to one style you can have a combination of two or three styles um, and then once you found those words that best describe you I think from then onwards people are going to see or people are able to see what sort of style you into and they're able to describe you in that um, sort of you know 
view of what you have described yourself as and what you have gravitated towards so if you keep on wearing those sort of clothes or if you keep on um, depicting that sort of a style people are able to describe your style in maybe those words or similar words number two this is what I did I evaluated my wardrobe I went into my wardrobe took out all the clothes all of them and then I took out I sifted out the clothes that I wanted to give away and the ones that I wanted to keep. I gave away all my colorful clothing and left maybe one or two um, clothing items that are colorful. I wanted to gravitate more into minimalism, uh, minimalist colors, black, gray, white and pastel colors and left the clothes that I wore often. I left my basics as well and I left the colors that I wanted to wear. So. It's very important to leave behind the clothing that you gravitate towards. And I'm going to use the word gravitate a lot because I want to emphasize on how you need to move towards um, what you think your style is or what you define your style as. So also in that sense, it makes room for your personal style that you are trying to, to define. Um, if you want to define a certain type of a personal style and you have old clothing, where are you going to put your new clothes, you know? Um, so create some room as well. As I said, you must leave behind your core items, which are your basic white shirt, basic white t-shirt, basic um, denims, good pair of denims, uh, blacks, your blacks, your greys, etc. So you need to have some core items in order for you to build from those. So obviously gravitating towards uh, whatever your inspiration is or whatever your influencer wears and it's okay to copy. However, I wouldn't really recommend for you to copy all the way because sometimes those clothing items do not look the same on you as they look on that person and then you become despondent. So it's also important to, okay, if you want to copy, it's okay. Um, but it's also nice to put in your personal touch. That's why we call it having personal style. So tip number three is shop for your body strengths and your identified personal style. So what I mean about that is find which are the body parts that um, you like the most and accentuate those, um, which then in turn also builds up on your confidence as well. But, but, there is a but, right? Do not neglect your weaker parts or the parts that you don't really like um because you can use those to um you know create a new trend or create a unique style you can use those body parts that you don't really like to create you know something different from you know what is out there fashion people are always looking for different things right i'll give you an example um i used to hate the way that i walk right I used to hate the way that my legs are bow-legged and I'm double jointed as well on my legs so it gives me a different sort of a movement right I used to hate I used to hate the way that I walk right um, because it was different totally different from what other people you know um, walk like or what their legs look like etc but as I started growing older I started to appreciate um, everything about me and then I started to accentuate that part that I used to hate, right? So I decided to stop wearing baggy pants in order to hide my walk. And then I decided to wear like um, tighter clothing around that area. And then guess what? People started complimenting me on the way that I walked. People started, you know, saying that I wish I had a walk like you, you know, etc. you know? So people are always looking to see something unique we don't always want to see things that are out there all the time as i said right okay fine so now you've evaluated your wardrobe and you've taken out all the stuff that you were holding now it's time to rebuild your wardrobe again um so how are you gonna um depict your style your personal style if you don't go shopping or if you don't buy some stuff that 
you know, maybe are uh, an inspiration coming from those influencers or those ma ma magazines or those editorials or whatnot, right? So you need to go shopping. However, you need to shop smart, right? You need to be smart about your shopping because so since I've also um, emptied out my wardrobe, I'm still building my, you know, wardrobe to the style that I want it to be, right? You also need to keep current. So you can't be wearing the same clothes every season, every year, etc. So you are going to build on your wardrobe. Do not rush, do not rush it. So you're going to shop for the stuff that is missing, right? So if you feel as though, okay, now Lulu is wearing, you know, a certain type of a style in her Instagram page and you find that inspiring, I need to buy boyfriend jeans, I need to buy, you know, um, white t-shirts more, I need to buy sneakers, etc. Then you're gonna slowly build that look, right? Don't rush and buy things that are from different types of, you know, pictures on my Instagram, you know, etc. So also another thing is if you go and you go buy your clothing items and maybe Lulu doesn't wear dresses, right? Don't say that I'm not gonna buy dresses because Lulu doesn't wear dresses and she's my style inspiration, etc. Don't do that, more especially if dresses do flatter your body or your body type or they accentuate, you know, what your body looks like or dresses look good on you. Don't say that you're not gonna buy dresses because Lulu doesn't buy dresses. Go to an extent of going in that store, buying those dresses, go into the fitting room and actually fit and look look at what those clothes look like on you before you decide no i'm not gonna buy them because whoever doesn't wear this sort of a style if you find those boyfriend jeans and they look good on you you must you know think of different styles of how to style those boyfriend jeans right use google as well um walk around with your cell phone googling what how to style boyfriend jeans right and then you know buy those clothing items that um are within your style and the clothing items that you would use to style those boyfriend jeans so you go into the store you go back into the store and look for black t-shirt look for a blouse look for whatever um that you can style with those boyfriend jeans and go into the fitting room room and see how those outfit combinations look like so that you don't buy stuff that you are you know that are from the top of your head if you're not sure and then you have these clothing items with you and then you're lazy to bring them back or take them back to the shop um and then you keep them just because you're lazy to you know now that it, now that is filling up your wardrobe again with stuff that you're not gonna wear tip number four is style your clothing I know it sounds obvious but um, there are some people that go out and buy clothing fold the clothes and they stay in the wardrobe they don't wear the clothes right style your clothing according to um, where you go often right do not buy clothing like um, do not buy ballroom sort of gowns when you don't really attend those events where you gonna wear that dress you know that's another waste of money it's good to own one at least one but do not go shopping over and over again for sequin clothing when you one person that you know works at a construction site or something you know it doesn't make sense unless on weekends you go grocery shopping or whatnot wearing your ballroom <laughs> clothing and it, 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 it makes you feel confident unless if you are that person however I wouldn't advise for you to buy clothing that you're not gonna wear to those places that you go often to and once you have uh, bought your clothing um, put clothing items together in different styles um, use the same clothing item I do not believe in that thing of once I've worn something and I've posted it on Instagram I can't post it again wear your clothing over and over again you do have a washing machine don't you so wear your clothing over and over again so that you can find different styles to you know 
um, restyle that item, um, renew that item in different sort of styles so that you don't have to go out and buy new clothing all the time. So style your clothing, take pictures of those styles. You can do maybe flat lace, you can wear those clothes, um, the, that outfit. You can wear that outfit, take a picture of it, do flat lace, um, you know, so that on those days where you feel as though I have nothing to wear, you can refer back to those pictures um, and actually dress you know and look good on a daily basis another thing that you can do to help you style your clothing is get a clothing rail right if you've got space big enough for a clothing rail then get a clothing rail hang those clothes that you have styled maybe um, if you are looking for out outfits for the week then um, style those clothes for the week on the clothing rail I personally do not like having clothing rails because um, I like my space to be clean and you know I don't like I don't really like clutter I got myself one of these this you hang on a door so pretend this hand is a door and then you hang this on the top of your door um, you can still close your door when you've hung this when you've hung this on your door you can still close your door um, and then you hang your clothes here basically so when you've done when you're done with your outfits you can um, store this away you can remove your clothes and then you can store this away so that's another way of uh, looking at the outfits that you style the reason why I do that is because I like to mix my clothing right as I mentioned I like um, classic casual and minimalist type of clothing so classic and casual sometimes can go wrong if not done right so Basically what I like to do is I like to mix my structured clothing with maybe a baggy something or I like to mix blouses with maybe, you know, joggers or tights or something, right? So I like to mix sports slacks with a formal look. Also, you need to shop your closet, right? Shop inside your closet. Do not rush out to go buy clothing because you are stuck in a rut or you ran out of ideas or whatnot. What I do is I reevaluate my wardrobe every end of the season. So now that we're coming to, to uh, the end of summer and we're going into autumn, I look at the clothes that I can wear in autumn and I visualize what I want to look like in autumn 2019 and then I look at um, the clothes that I have in my wardrobe and evaluate what sort of clothes I'm going to keep for autumn 2019 and which sort of clothes am I going to put away so that I can um, you know repack my wardrobe in such a way for autumn 2019 I mean you have to clear out your closet anyway you have to you know tidy up your closet anyway and there are some people that will say oh that's a lot of work geez you know if you want to find personal style if you want to do things you have to work for them right so that's how I work for my personal style I reevaluate my wardrobes at the end of the season and then I incorporate whatever that um, I need for the next season that is also helpful because you may find some gems that were hidden in your closet um, that you can re-wear or that you can cr create uh, new outfits with you can renew um, that's also help helpful in that sense if you haven't worn those newfound gems that are coming from your cl closet then um, if you haven't worn them in a long time then you can give those items away clear out your closet as well so you can kill two birds with one stone by just re-evaluating your closet so you can tidy up your closet and also um, keep your closet up to date so tip number five be yourself and have confidence while doing it easier said than done right um, so what I'm gonna give to you is make yourself happy make sure that you are happy first before you make other people happy so what I mean about that is I can wear whatever that I want to wear on a particular day right so can wear this cap backwards if I want to today I can wear my cap backwards on this video because I felt like doing it today 
I felt like not dressing much today or dressing up much today but I felt like a popping eye look today and it makes me feel comfortable and it makes me feel confident because I felt like doing that for the day right um, so what I usually do is I go out and I buy stuff that people don't like in the store right so the ugly items in the store I like to see potential in each and every clothing item so that clothing item that is tossed around in the store or that clothing item that rack that nobody's trying to go to um, I'm the one that goes there right I look at that item and I think of different sort of um, outfits that I can build from that item um, just to add spice you know since I like minimalist clothing there's a line there's a very fine line between boring and minimalism so in that sense I like to add a bit of quirk in my clothing items so um, I am gonna wear that clothing item because I want to wear it so if I'm going to Woolworths or if I'm going to checkers or pick and pay I am going to wear what I want to wear on that particular day. If it's going to be a big hat, I'm going to wear it um, because it makes me feel comfortable that day. So if I am wearing something that is outrageous, that is out of my comfort zone and that is a challenge for me and th in that way it gives me confidence. It boosts my confidence uh, levels. If I am in my comfort zone on that day, that means that I didn't feel like dressing up or you know i felt like i wanted to be very casual or you know i just didn't really feel like you know life that day you know for me being out of my comfort zone gives me more confidence then how does that make me more comfortable it makes me comfortable because i'm the one that uh, became creative and put that outfit together that is my work that is how I want my world to be so in that sense that makes me comfortable it sounds vain but that's just life guys you need to put yourself first you need to know who you are first before you know what other people are like on or who other people are so in that sense I know that it makes me comfortable in that way um, that I have created this um, outfit and that's my work regardless of what it looks like that's just me and then um, once I have created that environment for myself then I can bring other people into my my space if they want to be in my space so if they don't want to be in my space and look down on what I'm wearing or they don't prefer what I'm wearing and make snark comments or whatnot then that's okay we can't all be the same we don't have the same preference um, they don't see my vision and that is okay that is totally okay with me they have other places to go to right they can do those things with other people or other places so let those people go so that's how I create my own space and that's how I let people into my own space or into my fashion sense you know and there are some people that are gonna compliment you they're gonna they're gonna be some people that are gonna hate it that's just the bottom line and yes compliments do come with the package <laughs> because um i mean if you have done something right you were a creator i'm a creative no lie about that i'm not gonna deny and say i'm a, an accountant or no i'm a creative right and that's just my genius i do want people to speak about my work I mean why am I here what's my purpose you know uh, but I need to like my work first before other people like my work so compliments do come as the package and it's not that you are dressing to fish for compliments and make yourself feel better because other people are complimenting you then you need to see someone about that or you need to have an introspection um, in that case so once you have identified your personal style or what you like stick to it try and stick to it so if I'm going to H&M uh, for example or I'm going to Topshop or Zara 
Then I look for the things that best describe my personal style that I have identified. So I look for minimal sort of clothing. I look for structured sort of clothing. I look for, you know, classics from vintage stores or thrift stores. I look for things that other people do not have. Um, I look for, you know, my casuals from, you know, your Mr. Price or whatever. Stick to what you described your style as and then people are start are gonna start to identify you as you know that girl that wears um classics and you know casual wear or you know that sort of a combination of style people are gonna start identifying you as that sort of a person and remember it is okay to copy however it is better to Draw inspiration and interpret whatever that style is into your own personal style. So that is it for my five tips. Please share with me what your personal style is in the comment section below. It is very interesting to hear from other people. Also, you can send me your um, links, links to your pages, your Instagram, Instagram pages or your Facebook pages so that um, I can see what your personal style is about. I really love to speak about fashion as I did say I could speak about it all day so I am interested in what other people are wearing I am interested in what other people have put together etc let's create a conversation in the comment section bar below and if you haven't subscribed yet um, you can subscribe while you add it otherwise as per usual I will see you in my next video bye guys